This is Vlogtober, days 20 through 21. Today is Wednesday, but my Wednesday is a Monday. My morning did not start off well at all, and I wasn't going to be on camera because of my attitude it was real stank, and I'm just like, let me get myself together, and then I'll come on. So I'm feeling a little bit better. This morning, I forgot my badge, I forgot my watch, everything. And I was on time too, I was on time. But every time that something is going good, I know something's about to mess up. Like, it's too good to be true. Look what happened. Forgot everything, but it's okay. Today we went from CVG to Detroit. We're in Detroit and we're gonna be heading to Syracuse. So, waiting until it's time to board. We won't board until 30 minutes. So, right now we're just chilling making sure everything is good maintenance wise make sure we got our catering all of that so that way we're ready to go so that way we're ready to go other than that good morning and i'll be catching y'all in the next clip Alrighty, you guys, we have safely made it to our hotel. This is a pretty nice room, pretty nice room. So I'm going to give you all a hotel room tour. on the side and some quesadillas with the salsa, sour cream, and the guac. Also have our water as well. So let's dig in. All right, you guys, so the jalapeno poppers are great. I'm gonna try the quesadilla. Look, it's fresh, all fresh, that's good. This is good. 
jalapeno poppers look like. Instead of cream cheese, it has cheddar cheese in it, so. This is good. Alright, right, you guys, I have had a great dinner. I am full and I have a food baby. So it is time to go to sleep. I'm going to sleep very well tonight. I'm going to catch you all in the morning. Good night. Guys, good morning. Good morning. It is day two. It is go home day. I believe today we are going from Syracuse to Detroit, I believe, then to Cleveland, then Cleveland to Detroit, then Detroit to CBG, or Cleveland to CBG, one of them. I know we have, I think about three flights in between before I'm finished today. I'll be dead heading home, so that's a good thing. Other than that, I'm all ready to go. I feel pretty good this morning. I slept pretty good, got enough rest. Let's see if this enough rest will carry over throughout the workday. So I'm about to head downstairs. We have a 5 a.m. band. It's 4.45 now. So I'm going to head downstairs, meet my crew, and we're going to get this day started. And I hope you all are having a great start to your day. You all, never, ever forget your badge. Your seatbelt must be... Don't worry, we're doing our pre-flights. But I finished mine. Even but though this the thing is, don't ever forget your boarding pass. Please. I mean, not your boarding pass, your crew badge me this is why i don't switch outfits this is why i don't switch bags or anything and even if i happen to triple check everything something i don't know something magically always wants to happen on occasion that something just wants to not make it in my bag i don't understand why i don't understand why as you all know i did not have my crew badge this trip so i got my email from crew scheduling to get my information so i can get through security and all that stuff well apparently here that doesn't work it doesn't work so, I had to go back down. They told me to go back down to the gate agent, or not the gate agent, ticketing agent, so that way I can get my boarding pass, so that way I can get through the crew line and do what I have to do. I'm like, fine. But I still had to go through as a regular passenger. Take off my shoes, jacket, everything. Had to pat me down, all of that stuff. And then on top of that, <laughs> they get rid of my mouthwash. I just bought that mouthwash. I just now I gotta go and buy a new one. You gotta be kidding me, dog. You gotta be kidding me. I'm like, what? What? <sighs> I'm like, fine, whatever. Just take it. Cause I gotta get to my flight. Thank the Lord, I'm still on time. We don't start boring for a little while. So, this is just gonna be a trip of firsts. Again, this is why I don't switch my uniform. <laughs> I don't switch bags or anything. I just don't because of this so now we gotta mm, thank god for masks because when i speak to the customers the bottom half of my face is going to tell it all that i am not happy right now but it's going to be fine i get to deadhead home so that's a plus we have short sits so that's another plus and other than that i get to go home i get to go home so that's what I am using to keep me happy throughout the day. But yeah, don't forget your crew badge. Don't forget your crew badge. Ugh. Uh, still, with all the information that I had, I still couldn't get through. Oh my goodness. Who do you think about to dress up in this uniform for fun? Who do you think about to dress up in this uniform for fun just to get through a line? Are you are you, are you kidding me? What? No. Ugh, uh, whatever. All right. I'll catch y'all later. In the next clip, I'm about to go. About to walk up and down this plane and let this air cool me off. Bye. Hey, you guys. So, we finally landed. We were about to take off to Detroit, but there was lightning in Detroit. So, they had to do a ground stop, which delayed us for about 30 minutes before taking off. So with the ground stop, I believe that's when the crew can't be on the ground when there's lightning, so they have to wait until lightning passes. 
and then we'll be able to go ahead with the rest of the day. So after that ground stop, 30 minutes passed and we are now flying to Detroit in the process of Detroit during that time. Oh my goodness. It was just a lot going on. On top of the delay, the um, uh, passengers' bags not fitting, all of that stuff. Oh my goodness. It was, oh, what a lovely start to the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just like, oh, it's just not letting up this trip. It's just not letting up this trip. But we made it safely to Detroit. Thankfully, the passengers, some of them were asleep and some of them understood um, what was going on. So they were very patient and I appreciate them for that. And um, now we're in Detroit. And right when we land, cruise scheduling calls me and said, we've added a turn to your trip. <sighs> so now instead of going to Cleveland to Detroit or Detroit to Cleveland, back and forth to those two cities, I will be heading to Rochester. So I'm at my gate now, waiting for everybody to deplane, and then I'll go ahead and do what I have to do. So instead of me being off at 1.27, I will be done at 5, 5.30, I believe. 5.27, 5.30, one of them. So yeah, that's what's happening now. So, and I'm getting hungry, so, and tired. It's draining. I was all happy and ready this morning. I had good sleep, but it's down now. But that's okay. We're going to get this day done and get it over with. Hopefully the weather is in our favor. I'll catch y'all in the next clip. I'm back, you guys. <laughs> so we are now in Rochester. We're going to be heading back to Detroit, and then I'll be getting deadheading from Detroit back to Cincinnati. So... It's just been turbulent, all these flights. We've had no service on the flight, so, well, we couldn't have service on the flight because it was so turbulent. And, oh man, what a day. Go home day, go home day. What can I say about go home day? <sighs> but it's all good. I am getting really drained just because I've just been sitting down and not moving during the flight. I haven't been moving, so. It's just sitting and staying awake, that's it. But we're heading back to Detroit, and other than that, I'm just ready to deadhead back home. That's it. <laughs> that is it. <sighs> man, oh man, but that's okay. I will catch you all later on. Also, shout out to a customer who gave my flying partner and I some Lindor chocolate. Very nice of them. Can't wait to try one of these. Passenger, if you are watching this, thank you. Thank you. Guys, we finally made it home. Oh my goodness. I'm done for the day. I am done. From the morning up until now. Mm -mm -mm. I am done. I am done. I'm going home. I'm about to enjoy these next couple of days off and relax. Because honey, look today it wasn't it for you girl it just wasn't it but hey life of a flight attendant right but we made it home safe so that is one positive that i can say out of this entire trip i'm gonna catch you all later on but until that time peace out